Mad Money Lightning Round is brought to you by TD Ameritrade, where smart investors get smarter. It is time! It's time for the Are you ready, Ski? That is up the light round, papers and let's start with Steve in Georgia. Steve! Hey, Jim, big booyah from Atlanta in the great state of Ohio. Hold Monster on, booyah Georgia, back at you. Brown. Monster booyah, what's up? So, so my brother Scott and I got into this stock about seven years ago, around $70 a share, and we've ridden it all the way down to $5.40. I'm still convinced this 3D print market is attractive, but I'm afraid the stock's worse than my Cleveland Browns. The company's 3D Systems, DDD. Worse than Cleveland Browns? I had cream honey, gave me 24 last night. And, and Chubb did well, too. They're both better than that stock that you have, my friend. Uh, as a matter of fact, number five is a stock that I don't really care for. I think you can own that, but it ain't going to make more than a dollar or two. So you be the judge. Now we're going to go to Jason in Arizona. Jason. Yo, Jimmy Chill. Show man in the Jason house. The, Jason the Cobra from Phoenix. Hey, look, I've got some puts. And Cracker Barrel, and with the virus at play, and considering millennials do not want to eat there, what do you think about the stock and the future of Cracker Barrel? Well, I, I am I believe it right now that there's not a lot of travel going on, and that's where Cracker Barrel really makes a lot of money, so I'm not that interested in it. I did it one time when I was 40 pounds heavier. Love that. I used to have this apple pie with ice cream and a slice of cheese on it. I gotta tell you, man, that was my kind of appetizer. But right now, I'm staying away. Let's go to Brandon in Maryland. Brandon. Big booyah, Jimmy Chill, coming straight from high school, Maryland. Now, I want to say thank you for everything that you do, for guiding us through, you know, this market and everything. Thank you. And I also want to say thank you for getting us on the show, and hopefully you get them in again now that that CCH deal is over. Maybe. Hopefully. What's up? Which stock? All right. So... Back in 2016, I used to work for uh, the company Hollister, and of course, it's under Abercrombie and Finch. Now, they had their whole scanner situation where they're switching out and getting a new tech in, and it led me to this company that I ended up investing in, in uh, for $50 at that time, and now it's currently sitting at $255, uh, $56 at that. And so, I want to get your thoughts on Zebra Technology, stock ticker ZBRA. I think that. Uh, companies, I remember like a, Z- a symbol, a symbol technology, really just didn't have much going. This Zebra, which is now one of those companies that people are selling in order to buy new IPOs, is a great company. And I think as it comes down, you can accumulate it. But at the same time, since you got a $50 basis, you should take some of your money out and just let the, re- let, let the house money run. I want to go to Leon in California. Leon. Hey, Jim. Uh, so I want to get your wisdom on this company that I've been holding since about $7. The company is Plug Power, ticker P-L-U-G. Oh, I, I like Plug. They came on, and I had been a uh, naysayer for a very long time. And they came on and talked about these acquisitions they made, and I think the acquisitions are excellent. I would not have liked it if it weren't for the acquisitions. They made it exciting for me. Let's go to Amin in Washington. Amin. Booyah, Jimmy Till. Booyah. My dad and I have been watching your show for years. We love you, man. Ah, oh, thank uh, you. To I'd hire like your to dad, too. i about Nokia stock. What no, we're thoughts? not buyers of Nokia because they have, a, they have a product that's expensive and not as good as some others. And that was, you know, who would ever do that? Would you ever buy a company, would you ever buy a product that's more expensive than another product and the company's not as good? No, you wouldn't. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the conclusion of the Lightning Round. The Lightning Round is sponsored by TD Ameritrade. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. 